This episode of MMA Nuts is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Use code 295NUT for a 295.com or transfer. Defense Soap. Use code MMA Nuts for 15% off your entire order. Hey fans, it's Sunday Nuts episode 192. 192. My name's Ingo Weigold. I'm Matt Griffith. It's MMA show by MMA fans for MMA fans where we walk the line between serious <laughs> and ridiculous. Thank God Ingo's flexing yes. for me. Yes. Uh, uh, what's happening, Matt? Uh, fucking struggling. I'm just struggling <laughs> with life. Life is rough, eh? Life is the old me down. It's not even the man. It's just life in general. Okay, I feel your so, pain. I feel like my testosterone levels below ab- normal levels. Hey, and you know when you get it checked and then it's in the like low 200s and then the doctor says, that's not low. Hey, you know what, man? Go fuck yourself. I need I'm to find you. a good doctor. Maybe your low T is rubbing off on me. I'm I think feeling so. low T as well. I don't know. I'm, one, I'm about a step away from getting on the gear. That's all I'm saying. I like some gear. Only T or are you going to get like all kinds of other well, shit? Fuck yeah, why not? Load it up. A little growth <laughs> hormone. Stack it. His Let's head's going to be this H-G-H. big. In a year, we're going to watch him transform I'm slowly. Turn it to Uber <laughs> That'd be awesome. I'm gonna be pushing 260. Oh, like, <laughs> fucking swell. Hey, Doc, do you think my levels are normal? <laughs> good. I only put on 50 pounds of muscle. <laughs> That's good for your heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, That's awesome. Killing my life off one day. I wonder at a what's time, worse. Yeah. Like, if you if you blow out like 50 pounds of muscle, or you oh just God. get fat for 50 pounds, like. Either way, your body's not used to that weight. I would rather look good and take the punishment <laughs> than be fat and die early. Okay, I, I can buy that. But yeah. I wonder which is more healthy or less More healthy? healthy? Less healthy. Uh, well, I, I, you got to go with the the, uh, like the, the rock. Testosterone. Have you seen The Rock recently? <laughs> <God>. <laughs> this is totally natural. It. Yeah. He's Wait. got a cool show coming out, though. Oh, yeah? Which one? You have, uh, he posts on Facebook. like a, they, They're taping it now. I think he goes and finds like people that are fucked up, and he like helps them... like. Take steps in your life. That gear. <laughs> like, look at me. If you want to no. be like me, let's do some no. shit. He's shooting him up in the back room. No. No. no he, Come on. I, it sounds like he's trying to coach, like, be a life coach to people to help them get That's past right, the yeah. struggles in their in their life and turn their life around, like, and, and do good things, you know. So I, I think it's coming out in the fall. Can he come here and be our life coach? Can he be our mentor? <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. On how to juice. I don't even. Properly? I don't know if he could fit in this room. He's probably, <laughs> right down. He's probably too big. There's, there's so many weights in here. They'd probably just run away from him because uh, he's too strong. Oh yeah. He always has. I follow him on Facebook because it's just funny. He has these crazy photos of himself working out at like I, it, crazy hours of the day. Did you see the one someone posted of him and Andre the Giant when he was five years old? No. The giant behind him just. <laughs> No, Hopefully, I remember to put that up there. Okay, nice. A little rock. Cause is I that think a real picture? Yeah, because okay. I, I want to say his father was a professional wrestler back in the day. I think that sounds right. Yeah. Weird. Mm. Your career path already set for you. Yes. But hey, you know, it's all good. <sighs> Speaking of large men. Go ahead. <laughs> I've, I meant I've, I talked to you about this before. I, okay. I won't show you again because we just talked about it. The man with the crazy biceps. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. The huge, uh, there's a dude in Brazil, apparently, I don't know, they're doing some weird shit where they're injecting some sort of oil into their muscles, and it makes their muscles gigantic, and this guy's what? got, Does like, he do it for his cock then, too? I don't know, he probably should. He might as well fatten that up. He's got the 29-inch biceps, so. Roll that email, 29. I'll email it to you, so you can hopefully pull, throw up a picture, but apparently his buddy died recently from doing this, because it's very dangerous. Yet he's Did not. he say what kind of solution he's injecting, or is it uh, is it actually a steroid, or is it just something to swell the arm up, almost like a silicone implant kind of thing? He pumps oil and alcohol into his arms. Uh, it's uh, is he using it? olive oil at least? I don't or know. Coconut it oil? Say specifically. Trying to go with a healthy alternative. That's uh, fucked up. It gives whatever a, it is. It's not good. Uh, the other guy, there was a American guy, I swear, that did it, that had the biggest biceps ever, and I want to say he was injecting steroids straight up into his bicep. That doesn't work like that, does it? it for him, it did. He was going right into him. Typically, you stick it in your ass. Or in your eyeball. 
<laughs> your cock. You know, whichever, whatever well, thing you're trying to make bigger. Rectally, you can go. Rectally. Rectal steroids. It's always rectal. Suppositories. It's the only way to go. I sent it over to you. All right, but cool. uh, pretty ridiculous when you think about it. 29 inch biceps. That's huge. It's that's like four inches bigger than my current. Yeah. No. Yes. Uh, what else is going on? XFO. Oh, yes. Next weekend. 50. Fallon Fox fighting on the card. It's a pretty good, interesting card. We're going to go there. We'll have That's pictures right. and all kinds of shit. So it's happening in Chicago, of course. We are from Chicago. If you're interested, check it out on our website, MMANuts.com, probably by Saturday or Sunday that weekend. Yeah, the rumor is the Real Sports with Brian Gumble is going to be there. Yes. Gumbling it up, I don't we'll know. We'll get on the show, hopefully. The interview us. We're going to be fucking wasted. No, we're not. We don't drink. No, we're, we're not going to bring a driver with a fucking hat. <laughs> should seriously hire people. Calling us sir all night. <laughs> Getting us beers. <laughs> sir. No, that's, we need a beer wench then. Yeah. Well, uh, Stan is apparently bringing a friend of his. I was thinking about seeing if she might wear our t-shirt, actually. Done. I don't know if she'll We could probably she cut probably, that up. She probably wouldn't do it. She's probably got some other outfit she needs to wear that's uh, more yeah, revealing. Yeah. Probably have to hire some girls. You know the company he keeps. Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's interesting. His Facebook page is a plethora of things that should be taken down off Facebook. <laughs> and I think they do <laughs> they get take reported. Them down. Yeah, he gets reported a lot. Crazy. They should just embrace whatever it is out there. What happened to the First Amendment? Why does a man have to come down on another man posting pictures of semi-nude women? Well, Zuckerberg apparently has a one one ring phone to the president. Did you see that? No. He's said he called the president last week to talk about like some kind of like internet rights or some shit. Like apparently he has a direct line to to the Obama, Mr. Obama, you know, cuz he's important. I guess Facebook's pretty important if you think about uh, it. it. Yeah. They were like one of the top portals or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So Obama wants to know what, what the people are doing. They send all statistics to the government. So, you know. It's all, everything's being reported. Hey, you know the other day I, was, I had the Xbox One on and uh, mm -hmm. kids were playing the Just Dance and then I forgot and I left the camera on. Ooh. Oops. All I'm going to say is, oops. Did you get busted? No, not yet, but I will be. They're okay. coming for me. I don't care. I don't, I don't have I don't do anything except beat off in front of that. <laughs> Just right in front of your TV. Yes. Well, I'm looking at myself in the reflection. Perfect. That's the the TV's way. actually off. <laughs> That's the only way to do it. <laughs> yes. Anyway, you want to hit some news before we digress any farther? I thought that was the news. <laughs> We're just <laughs> blindly rambling with news being brought to you by GoDaddy. GoDaddy.com. Who's been kind enough to extend some of the sweet code so you can get 295.com with code 295 nut, 50% off hosting with 50 host two, and you can get something else. Go to our coupon tab. There's a whole bunch of other slew of codes. Yeah, I'm trying to get know. there right now. Sorry. I'm, you could probably get 32% off with go 32 off six. Our website's so fucking slow. It's the worst website ever. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I noticed on my phone I could hit a button and it would turn it white. Huh? Turn the, the, our white's. Uh, the black background Where, to white. Where's the button? It was on the left hand side. I don't know how it did that. I thought that was pretty neat the other day. Mm -hmm. I don't it have was like some inverse. Oh, I don't have this button on my iPad. Huh. Maybe I have to be on my phone. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. I'm not even going to tell you the iPad story because you already told you that one. So moving right along. Ronda Rousey said she's going to fight, or she would fight Gina Carano at a catch weight of. I think 145. They don't. Maybe they didn't even mention that. But uh, she said she will not do this for anyone else, just Carano, because she was kind of the woman that got her into the sport. <laughs> what do you make of this? That would be a one-sided murder. It would look good. I would be. I would watch it. I'd be excited. Who was? Who doesn't want to see Gina Carano fight? But she's been hasn't fought in like five years. Are you kidding me? Going against like probably one of the best. She's she's made our pound for pound list for God's sakes. Is she? Round, Ronda for. Rousey. Someone yeah. voted for her out of our. our so put her number one just she's to number five. make a point. She's, so I mean, she's freaking amped up and dialed in against just like a killer. Are you kidding me? I, I don't think I don't think Carano has anything for that for Rousey right now. I'd like to see no. her get a tune-up fight first, maybe see what. Yeah, I don't I don't even know if she could. F she's obviously still can fight, but you've been out of the sport for. 
or five years, you try to come back now, I, I, I just yeah. don't even see it. And good luck trying to make that weight. I mean, fuck. Come on. I don't know. What are we fighting at? 140? 145, and, 142. And you're going to do that for Corano, but you can't do it for the Cyborg? <laughs> no. Why? I'm scared. Yeah. Don't be scared, homie. It's true. You hang out with Nick Diaz so much, <laughs> but you talk about not being scared. I wonder scared. if they're dating. They were kind of cozy. and They were very chummy. Yeah. Nick seemed like he had a pretty good time out there. Oh, yeah. You know, he was actually talking to reporters, giving out pretty good interviews, pretty happy. Says Maybe he wants to come back. Got him on the right meds. Yeah. It seemed like he was leveled <laughs> out. No bullshit. It was okay. the first time he was legitimately, looked like he was enjoying himself talking to the interviewers. He was smiling. I've never seen him so happy to be out. Mm. Maybe it was a GSP type thing, too, where he just needed to take some time off. And now he's enjoying life again, ready to come back and kick some Or it's Ronda Rousey and the magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's a happy man right there. It's true. Yes. It's all legend. I don't know what, what's going Talk on. About, think about this, though. I'm trying so. to, I'm picturing this. Diaz with the, with the black belt, right? Rousey with, like, basically the... Imagine, like... You know, like if one gets pissed at the other, like and tries to pull some shit, like you can't. It, <laughs> this would be interesting, like you know, like someone comes like tries to fuck with the other one, like they both. I mean, you know, tries to pull an armbar. He's like, oh no, I'm gonna reverse that shit and get him out. And she's like, no, you don't. <laughs> and the next thing you know, something is up in the wrong hole. Yes. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying it'd be interesting. It would be. Move right along. I'm getting us out of there. Sorry, were you making you. Idea, bro? I was like, so, I was like, please rescue me. Yeah. I don't want to say anything else. So you got this Sutton versus Vanderlei Silva fight. You know, they're coaching on next season of Ultimate Fire. It's going to be on Fight Pass, whatever. Uh huh. Vanderlei has not signed said contract. Uh huh. Why? What? Huh? What's going on there? No juice. What? No juice, baby. He can't take it? No. Was he on it? Been banned, I think so. Is he? He's going black market then. Maybe. Sonnen's on it too. I mean, I don't know. Why wouldn't he sign it? I don't know. It. Unless it's some kind of gamesmanship. I don't know. It just seemed very curious, and all this uh, fake fight bullshit. Mm-hmm. I'm not buying into it. He pushes <laughs> him and then put, puts up his dukes. Literally put the dukes. He up. did. I yeah, haven't seen that since, he left since I think Popeye. Yeah. Did it in a fucking cartoon. Yeah, hey, put up your dukes. <laughs> like a kangaroo. Yeah, I don't <laughs> know what to make of that. And then the last thing I want to say, I finally got approved through the UFC Fight Pass the other day. They finally accepted a credit card. I'm in. I saw the, the four preliminary fights for this UFC 171. Nice. Quality was excellent. I couldn't change the camera angles. I didn't. It didn't work. I don't know if that's an option or not, but it has it there where you can go overhead, blah, 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 blue corner, red corner. That wasn't working. But the challenge was that after those four fights, the next set of preliminary fights was going to go on the Fox Sports 2, which I don't fucking have. So <laughs> I kind of wanted to see that Rick Story. Oh, yeah. Kelvin Gastelum. I heard that fight. was a good one, too. Mm hmm. Nowhere to be watched. No. So Fight Pass will get you in the door because it was blacked out. What the hell's that about on Fight Pass? What was? Oh, really? Yeah, the the second part of the prelims. I guess why. Fox has got their exclusive rights to that. But part. put it on Fox One. Jesus, what else was on at the same time? I have no. I don't even watch it. It's the too bowling. high on the fucking numbers spectrum for me. I have FS One, but not FS Two. Maybe I have FS Two. I don't know. It's okay. it's kind of hard to navigate that site too. But is it? I'll have yeah. to check it out. Hopefully, it'll integrate over to the Xbox. So we That's can what I'm waiting for. Do, 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 Stream do, that do. fucker. Hell yeah. Yeah. Especially, like, if you're having people over for the fights, you like to have some prelims, and then you have nothing to watch. You know, huddle around a kitchen computer watching GSB versus Hendrix part, or the first time they fought. <laughs> uh, I'm Number anticipating 12. a second one. Yes. Anticipating it. So, let's get right into some... Recap action. All right, it's UFC 171 and it's first Lawler. So hit some scores. So I was 12 and one. Wow. Ingo was six and seven. Oh no. <laughs> the Magic Eight Ball was four and nine. Oh yes. So overall, 46 and 15. Ingo is 43 and 18. Damn, he overtook us. And the Magic Eight Ball is 35 and 26. Fuck you, Eight Ball. Take it, take it. You 
whore. That's all oh, I'm saying. You made a huge turnaround here in one card. Yeah. Bubba and it was won. only that uh, Bubba McDaniel fight where I was on the borderline of picking the him gear. or not. Okay. That guy's so hit or miss. He doesn't seem like the smartest of people. Not stable. But he hey, tweeted uh, out his salary. <laughs> yes, he did. Um, These things happen in MMA? They do. Uh, speaking of salary, $50,000 bonuses by the night, of course, goes to Hendricks and Lawler. And then the performance of the night goes to Ovin St. Pru and Dennis Bermudez. St. Pru with the Von Flu choke. Yes. Quite interesting. What did Bermudez do? I don't Got know. I couldn't watch Over it. Jimmy Hedis? Yeah. Looks like he KO'd somebody. Interesting. A lot of decisions on this card. Nine decisions. Wow. And one technical submission. Out of 13 fights? And then technically, I consider the Woodley, well, Woodley Connor fight not necessarily yeah. a, a, a finish either. So. so let's start with the Shields Lombard. Okay. <laughs> What's your take on this? Uh, Well, I would say that Lombard is uh, two weight classes above Jake <laughs> Shields. Jake Shields looks like he has possibly the hip. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, I don't know. It, it didn't look good, and, you know, I, I think Shields needed to avoid the clinch at all costs because every time he got clinched up, I mean, Hector just threw him around like a little baby, basically. A little ragdoll. And um, my take on it was is that, you know, Lombard looked okay. I just wanted to see him, you know, keep the gas pedal going. I, I felt like he let off and coasted. It reminded me of the Overeem performance exactly. we saw, you yeah. know. I guess where he was like Mirror. He's, he's like, almost uh, testing the water, and I don't know if it's because he's not used to going the distance. You know, he, yeah. you, know, you kind of want to see where your cardio is, but he looked like he was gassed out. He did. In the second and third, so. Yeah, but Shields is just way too small. And he should have just kept the standing. You're murdering him on the feet. Yeah. You're murdering him. But he kept going for it. I think he just wanted to recoup some energy at uh, that probably. point and just kind of sit on top because I think we saw two or three stand-ups in that fight. Right? Yeah. And then in the end of the third round, Shields locks up the guillotine, but... It was like five seconds to go. Yeah. It wasn't going to happen. And Lombard said afterwards that it wasn't tight. Of course not. He never <laughs> said You're not going to choke that guy out. He's got like a 29-inch neck. Does he inject shit into his he neck? Might. Maybe we should try that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Let's just go for the biggest oh, necks yeah. ever. Remember, do you remember uh, Henry Rollins back in the day? He used to have the thickest neck ever. I remember. I'm gonna make a mental note. You, can, you don't need to inject things. Just just do the weights. I do the weights, but it, it, you could. I want to have like a you, neck bigger do you do than the my neck, head. The neck weights. I have it right there. It's not around his head, but I got the harness and the thing. The thing where you put, put over your head and you on there. And sit there and fucking crank it. Crazy. Hell yeah! I don't do that. <laughs> You're crazy. Hell yeah! You used to when we were in wrestling, we used to do like those neck exercises too, where you put your head on the ground and yeah. fucking oh like Arlovsky was doing that one time yeah. at the gym. Yeah, I can't do that. I have chicken neck. Uh, my neck would break. Don't worry. You're going to get on the gear. I'm going to be the test subject. In six months, we're both going to be sitting here so large. Sweating. <laughs> you're like this, those guys. this fucking studio <laughs> isn't going to be to contain us, man. Just... We like that. We come to pump <laughs> you up. I'm Hans. <laughs> I'm Franz. We are here to pump <laughs> you, you up. up. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. It's totally going to happen. These commercials. <laughs> I can so see it right now. Oh my god! And, and it's only because we're taking the, these supplements from on it. <laughs> yes. They have this primal care. I hear it's, it's the shit. It's amazing. I'm so swell. I'm not <laughs> taking none of the juice. I'm just taking good supplements. Yes. Woo, got um, out in here all of a sudden. Actually, it, it did. Uh, so next for Lombard, do you think he'll get the title shot? No, he should not get the title shot. I think a good fight for him is the winner of the Ellenberger. Safadin fight. Because Ellenberger is ranked about five ish right now. Safadine somewhere in there. And okay. that fight's happening next month. Yeah. And then next for Shields, Stun Gun. Dong Young Kim? Yeah. Okay. I, I like it. Now I let's like get into some more funds. What's the funds? Ooh. Condit. Woodley? Woodley. Condit. Disappointing. I don't know. I thought it was somewhat satisfying, but somewhat disappointing also. How so? Because the, the correct man won the fight, in my really? eyes. Okay. Well, Woodley was dominating the fight. There's no question about that. He got tired. Yeah. Condit, Condit was, 
The tide was turning, sir. No, no, no. Yes. No. Kind of got the takedown on him. Kind of did get shit. What are you talking about? I don't remember any kind of takedowns. Me neither. He <laughs> ate numerous <laughs> right hands he from did. Woodley. Yeah. And that was a lot of power. I don't think Condon's been used to getting hit like that. No. And Very he, fast. He took, a, he took a hell of a shot. And I think it was one of the takedowns from Woodley yes. that jacked up Condit's knee initially. Yes. And you could see him grimace, and Woodley even said that he knew one of the knees was fucked up, so he went to attack it. So he throws that hard leg kick, and it's not the leg that he kicks, but the other leg, the knee just fucking blows out, and it's jacked off or whatever. And they find out that he has tore his meniscus, that's, That's a bad right. one. If I could say that right. And possibly his ACL. They're not it's sure. It's like yet. a year layoff. That's a problem. Oh. I mean, for a fighter, I, meniscus, I mean, you can come back, I think, in six months, but it's serious. It's, it's fucked up. Unfortunate. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't think anything was going to. Like, if you play that out for three rounds, I still like Woodley. I, I don't he know. He was winning every aspect. I felt like the tide was turning. No. Because here's the other thing <laughs> he wasn't even using his wrestling. He was just striking, sure. you know, yeah. and he did look very fast. You had mentioned that several times oh, last night. He looked yeah. way fast. Yeah, so. and you know, speed kills. <laughs> and when you have speed like that, and you could close the distance. Yes. Woo! Yeah. Bard burner. Yeah. Bard burner. It's unfortunate though for Woodley that it ended in that fashion because I feel like it tainted his performance. Oh, I don't think so. No. Dana White thought so. Dana's fucked up because here's the thing. Do you, when you look at Weidman versus Anderson Silva the second time, do you credit him with the win or do you call it a freak injury? Well, in my eyes, he was dominating every time, every round he fought Silva, so I'd say he won. But this is how then he's also throw the a champ. So Dana's there, yeah. not going to talk shit about the champ. He never would, would he? Maybe he has before Anderson Silva in the past. Yes, GSP. GSP. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he but, talks shit about anybody. But the point I'm making is that. I don't know what I'm making now. I already lost my train of thought. Just like that, it came and went. I'm trying to catch it. I don't know. Oh, I'm trying to say from one fight to the other fight. Still don't know what I'm talking about. Hoping it's going to come back. Chris Weidman, does it a win? Is yes, it not a the, win? Yes, the injury, is it, a, is it a legitimate win? Yeah, I sure. I think it is because it's, it's a strike that he threw that blew his knee out. Wasn't like, and the same thing with the Weidman. It was a planned check and having to break his leg. Not you don't want to win that way, but it's something that you did that caused the Correct. injury and got you the win. Yeah. And in both scenarios, I saw both guys dominate. I think that's sort of the comparison. Yeah. So. Yeah. The, the question is now for Woodley, seeing he was probably ranked about 11, Condit's number two, where do you put Woodley and do you give him the title shot next? Top, definitely top five. <clears throat> and no, not the oh. shot next. Sorry. I have someone in mind. I will discuss okay. it when we arrive. I'm going to, I will lobby and say Woodley should get the title okay. shot. Okay. Why? Because he beat number two. He beat number two. Yeah, but he's got to get the title shot. I don't think it works like that. Like even in, in college sports. You beat this, the number one team, you don't become number one all of a sudden. But you, this is the UFC, Ingo. I know, but you <laughs> can't gonna, leapfrog. Anybody can have can a bad whatever. night. You know? Chelsea. <laughs> True. And, <laughs> Chelsea. Anyone can, uh, come on. Anyone can have a bad night. You know, Conor just is a, it's a poor matchup for him. You know, just didn't go his way. Which is true. A, awfully strange, but... And uh, then there's also bad blood, because I thought, didn't Hendricks and Woodley have an NCAA match? Yes. So you can sell it based on that, and I'm looking at... That's not the biggest fight to sell. It is. There's a bigger don't, fight no, to sell. You're going to go blasphemous with that mm -hmm. one. I know where you're going. You don't know where I'm going. In Conda, if he ever gets back, or when he gets back, he should rematch uh, Roy McDonald. Okay, sure. Keep, keep McDonald the fuck out of... Roy McDonald should not get this title shot. I think that's blasphemous for him to get a title shot. Drogan thinks he should. He had actually had to back that up. Yeah, he went I mean, on the underground yeah. and made a Which big was cool. post. He said he's going to keep doing that. I like it. Yeah. Well, that's good. He needs a... That's funny. I was going to say a forum to fucking... Like he doesn't have that. ...place his thoughts out there, but... It's true. He cares. He loves us. Yes. Yes. So I would give Hood... Hoodley. Hoodley. <laughs> Woodley. Damn. The Freudian title slip. shot. Trying to hoodwink me. Not me. 
Hendrix Lawler go. Did, well, I'll ask you the question. Did Hendrix look, well, a couple questions. Do you think the weight cut hurt him because he missed weight for by a pound and a half? Or do you think there was an injury because it looked like he was fighting at about 50%? I think something else was going on. His body type and everything looked so different. If you remember him against GSP, I mean, he was pretty ripped. And last night he looked almost like lean and pudgy-like. He you looked know? hivish. Yeah, and I don't know. I mean, I don't think a weight cut makes you look like that. I think there's something else. I, I want to say, and Johnny seems like a class act, so he's he probably won't say, say shit. It. But I think he might. He must have had an injury during his training camp that he was nursing. And we were watching the Hendricks GSP fight before this card. Yep. And that Hendricks that fought GSP is the, not the Hendricks that fought Robbie Lawler. No. Some, there's something different there. Something happened. And maybe it'll come out or maybe it won't, but... Um, Either way, he survived five rounds. I mean, shit, that guy's tough as hell. And, you know, I think they both took shots that most human beings would get knocked out cold from. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, was it the third round that was the crazy round? That was the fourth? Third I think fourth. it was the third where he was getting, Hendrix was getting mauled. Yep. And yeah. he's just, like, grasping <laughs> it, like, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. And Lawler let oh, him off the hook a little shit. bit because I think he was getting tired. But... What a great fight. I mean, I think I was entertained. I yeah. thought both guys were, did well. I would have liked to see Johnny be a little bit more aggressive, um, you know, in, in the middle rounds. But, I mean, from reading some of his comments after the, after the fight, it's almost like he was worried more about that fifth round than anything else, even from the time he started, mm -hmm. you know, the fight, because that's where he fucked himself up against GSP. And, you know, yeah, they and didn't go for it hard enough. And I think that's where he said he learned his lesson yeah. in the GSP fight. Because he didn't push it hard enough, so he said he, he saved it up. Or not saved it, but he pushed hard. He said he looked over at the wife and just said, I got to win this. Got to win. I gotta, he dug down deep and, and, and turned it out in the fifth round. Yeah. And last night, I thought he lost because I thought Lawler had won that fight, but I watched it again today, and I think I agree. One, two, and five, Hendricks mm -hmm. for sure. Um, somebody scored it a 10-8 in the second round. Yeah, I, I'll mention the judge's name because that's, that's fucking horse shit. Doug Crosby he scores the second round a 10-8 for Hendricks, and then he scores the fifth round a draw. So, <laughs> I don't know. what fucking fight are you watching? Because any round that could have been a 10-8, maybe you could argue that third round for Lawler could have yeah, been a 10-8. But I didn't see a 10-8 in this fight. No, you, I mean, you got to see some knockdowns or something, or there's got to be like yeah, almost getting close finished. to stopped. Yeah. Right. And, I mean, there's a lot of... Johnny was getting a lot of heat online about his takedown at the end of the fight, but you know I thought it was pretty smart actually. Tactically, it's a smart move. It's what do you, dude? He's got a family. He's got he he came out and finished a guy in, almost in the fifth round. And he said, you know what? I'm gonna kneel on the goal line. I don't need to score right now. I just need I just need this game to be over. That's what I need mm -hmm. to do, and I win. Why would you take the risk against a guy like Lawler who's who's still dangerous, even moving backwards or yeah. even tired? It makes no sense. So, hats off to him. And there was like 20 seconds left. It wasn't. There wasn't a lot of time. Yeah. So I mean, you're not. I'm gonna, okay with that. You could have tried to finish him, but what's the point? You already went five. I mean, you don't want to be Chael Sonnen, believe me. <laughs> you don't want. You don't want to have that. Could you imagine yeah, if he gets knocked out? Him? No. Like, what could you, you imagine Johnny gets fluke knocked out? It's like five seconds <laughs> left because he went for it instead of. It just, could happen. I know, but that you don't want that. No. no. So I mean, I thought he looked. He looked good for whatever was happening with him. I think in his next fight he'll be much better. Hopefully. True. And they set a record too for in a UFC championship fight. They combined for 308 significant strikes landed over the course of the fight. And now wow. Hendricks had 158 of those significant strikes landed, which is the most ever for a UFC title fight. Even more than GSP? Yes. Wow. And Lawler landed 150 significant strikes, so that's the third highest for a UFC championship wow. fight. No shit. I didn't realize that that was the most ever. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. They were active. I mean, they weren't holding back. There was no, you know, no no downtime. No. And, and there was a weird point, too, and I, I don't know if it was after the, between the second and third round, where Mark Lehman whispered to Johnny, he's, he's hitting his microphone like this, so you can't hear what he's saying. He's like, what's going on? Like, what's wrong? He says, whisper it in my ear. Oh, yeah, I remember you mentioned that. And we couldn't hear what he said, but he, something was fucked up. 
I'm going on rack. My right balls today. are exploded. <laughs> my testicles. Can't my cock and balls. I, I don't know. I hope it comes out. I'm so curious. I, I, I wish you would tell somebody. Anybody. It'll come out. Someone in his camp will leak something. So, Guarantee you know, it. Something, something wasn't right. I'm so. putting him at 50% power. What could it be? What do you think? Well, it, it looked like something was affecting how hard he could punch, but the kicks were still there. Because he was throwing those leg kicks, yeah. and I didn't see a problem. But like hard an to upper say. body injury? Maybe a, a shoulder injury or... Yeah. But it looked like something affected the way he was... Maybe his cardio, so hmm. hard to say. Mm-hmm. Hard to say. Mm-hmm. So, okay, what do you think for Lawler? And don't even say ND. Not Lawler. Or, or I'm Hendricks. sorry, what do you say for Hendricks? That's the fight, man. No, Fuck GSP. No, Listen, the biggest fight they can make it at this at this weight class is Nick Diaz makes a comeback for the belt. But why does he get the title shot? Because he's he Nick fuck, fucking Diaz. Fuck that guy. He's been out for uh, almost a year. Doesn't matter. And then you're just going to let him sit there. Yes. He's in a good spot. Yes. He's heckling Hendricks at the yes. way in. Perfect. Trying to build some animosity. Perfect. I love it. I can't agree with you. Come on. It'll be great. It'll be great. I love it. I mean, what else are you going to do? GSP makes a comeback and fights Hendricks? No. I do want to see that again, but not right now. I want to see Lawler rematch Nick Diaz, actually. Right because, now? Yes. Well, maybe. Because Nick is the only person that is knocked out, Robbie Lawler. Mm-hmm. And there's some heat there. We could get that rematch. That seems like a good sell. And then that gives Diaz a warm up fight to get back. Sure. I don't like him stepping back in for a title shot. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Him and BJ Penn are my two favorite active fighters, I'd say, right now, for sure. Who? Nick and. BJ. Okay. I like crazy. I don't know. Maybe I am crazy. Crazy attracts crazy. Is that what they say? Yeah, I can identify right. with the thought process. I really can. 209? That's right. Uh, right. What about Lawler? What's up with him? Did they say anything? Mm-mm. No, no he's just really disappointed. He thought he won that fight. but He looks bummed out. He, he was Classy, getting... though. Yeah. Classy. He was biting his tongue. He's been around the block. The fifth yeah. round was tough. Yeah. He almost got stopped, though, in the fifth. He did. That that almost sealed the. I mean, that sealed the deal. If he would have just, you know, uh, he had anything. If he could have like landed a couple of big shots, or he probably would have won the fight. But mm-hmm. he didn't do shit in the fifth round. So, sorry. That is that. What else? Is it? All right, moving on. We'll go to the whatever this is. UFC Fight Night. Fucking Shogun. thirty in Brazil. something nine. It's happening on like Sunday, May, March 23rd. Some weird is, is it even on TV? I don't even know. I don't know. I tried to figure this out. Anyways, it may be on TV, it might be on Fight Pass, could be on FX. No, no. fuel, probably Fight Pass. Fight Pass. I, guess. Yeah. I don't know. But it's being brought to you by Defense Soap, defensesoap.com, where you can save 15% by using code MMA Nuts. Use your shit, clean your shit. Um, I don't know, they got good products. Use the soap, it's good stuff. MMA Nuts. Make it happen. One bar of soap at a time. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. All right, we got Dan. Beach Bob. Henderson, he's 29 and 11 versus Mauricio. Shogun. Hua, he's 22 and 8. I'm going to mix this one up a little bit. Henderson, 13 wins by KO, Mm -hmm. two wins by submission. Mm -hmm. Shogun, 19 wins by KO, one by submission. Uh, The only thing I'm going to say before I throw this over you. Or I, I didn't even write anything down. But TRT, no TRT for Henderson, Correct. I see as a big fucking problem. Yes. And seeing how he's lost his last three fights in a row. Uh, and he gave him a new contract <laughs> anyways. <laughs> he's 43. I, I literally think this is the last fight that we're going to see Dan Henderson in, win or lose. Yeah. And I'm, I'm leaning towards lose, unfortunately, because you can't, especially at 43, and you're going to just take him off the TRT. Depends how he's going to handle that situation. Me, personally, I'm going black market then. Probably. Under the table. So going to do the little, what's it, for, not Forrest Griffin, uh, your boy from Chicago, what's his name? The Which one? Axe Murder. No, no, not Axe Murder. The, the Psycho, American Psycho. Remember he, he got on the gear against oh, Anderson Silva? Oh, Stephen Bonner. That's it. Okay. He's all like roided yeah. up. <laughs> he's gonna, Anderson's going to come in like pride much. style. Fuck it. I don't <laughs> care. Yeah, he fucking misses <laughs> weight because he's just swallowed 240. Yeah. Comes in Uberim. Yeah. 
You should. You should. <laughs> if it's your last fight ever, why not? Why not? Yeah. And then retire and still get into the UFC Hall of Fame. Correct. Going out on good terms. Mm-hmm. But do you think this fight, seeing how the first one was fu- a fucking epic war where Henderson wins, what, the first three rounds and yeah. then fades out and then Shogun comes back in the last two? And the war of attrition. Yeah. It, it, you got old man strength and then you have heart. And old man strength won in that one. And it I did. just, I don't know. I guess, what's your thoughts on this? Do you think you get a repay of this first fight, or no. what are we going to have? I don't like this, because you know what? The, it's the same reason why I say I don't want Bigfoot and Mark Hunt to rematch, because... You're going to have titty juice in your mouth? No, it just... It, it's it's already perfect. It's our, it's it, it, They already painted a masterpiece. So why would you want to do it again? Just leave it. Leave it alone. They're done. I agree. It, you don't need to do it again. I don't think there's anything. It wasn't like it's for a title or there's some reason anybody's going to prove anything. Maybe this is the old man league. Even though <laughs> Shogun's only, only 32. Three. Jesus Christ. He is the, I think he's the youngest oldest guy or the oldest youngest guy. One of those. Him, two. him or the Nogueras, right? Yeah. Pretty much. It's, a, it's those pride years. Yeah. And you, the Vanderlei Silva in that camp, too. True. Um, was he 30? Silva's what, 36? It's something like that. Yeah. Mid 30s, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, Henderson off the juice, I don't like it. And I, I, like you said, I don't, I don't think it's going to help him much. And Shogun, you know, I mean, he hasn't looked spectacular, but his KO over Tehuna was pretty was impressive. first round, yeah. And, I mean, I argue that, of course, Tehuna doesn't have the chin of Dan Henderson, but I don't know how much chin... I don't know, because Belfort just knocked out Henderson, and Henderson was never knocked out before. Yeah, so, well, that's Vitor on the, on the juice. So, juice versus know. juice. Juice versus juice. They should have a juice league, all juice league. <laughs> Well, uh, within a certain levels, <laughs> let's just keep it on the up and up. But make sure everyone okay. is safe. Yeah. Um, I like Shogun in this fight. I like him via knockout, actually. I think it's gonna, it might be over fast. I think Henderson, looking at um, no, no TRT, old man, you know, last fight he gassed out early, I mean late. I think he's going to want to come out balls to the wall and just, I think if Shogun, you know, Shogun is the more superior striker. Yeah. This is in Brazil too, right? Correct. Oh my God. So <laughs> oh there's a lot of odds stacked Shogun against this favor. Um, I'm not liking his odds. Wasn't wasn't Stefan Bonner in Brazil against Anderson Silva too? I don't remember. I think it was. Maybe it was Vegas. It was probably Vegas. Yeah. But uh, I think Henderson will not win this fight as much as and. Honestly, I don't really care about this fight much. I don't know why oh they're God. doing this fight. Did you look how well, this is? This is the only fight that we somewhat care about covering. The rest of the card is just shit. Yeah. I, I think I know maybe four fighters on the card, and this is two of them. Yeah. Maybe no more, but I'm just saying that here we are at the and you know God forbid one of these guys was to happen to get injured in this week prior to the fight. Then what would happen? Would you cancel the entire card, or you just no. you know it's so weak going in? Brazil it's loves not a pay per view. They'll go. That's true. Yeah, they'll go. So I can't disagree with anything you said because excuse I, me. You I, and as we're talking it through, I add the power of Brazil behind <laughs> Shogun. <laughs> Forgot. About I don't. That. I don't see how how he fucking loses. He might. I don't know, but it's very doubtful. Well, he's looked better, you know. Yeah. The, the 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 knock on Shogun is always how are his knees holding up? It yeah. Is. But I'm fucking I'm taking Shogun first round knockout, mm-hmm. and that's uh, Michigan balls. Not doing so well, are you? Uh-oh. Taking Dan Henderson. Good luck. Good luck with that. Did Henderson ever fight John Jones? No. Remember? Yeah. It didn't happen, right? No, he blew out his knee or something, that's and then. UFC 151 got canceled. That's one I always. And then to he see. lost his title shot. He never got it. Man. Yeah. And he'll never see it. That's the one I wanted to see. Yep. That would have been fun. Ask the nuts being brought to you by Onnit. Onnit.com/slash MMA nuts, where you can save 10% off your order. Yep. What are the three top-selling supplements on Onnit.com? Good question. Do you remember? I think it's uh, what is it? The Primal Care, or? Primal Care, Alpha Brain, and you need the Shroom Tech Sport, the three pack. Yes, go get them. Yep, good stuff. Onnit.com slash MMA nuts. Get your That's gear. Right. In about a month, you'll see the effects of the Onnit upon myself. <laughs> 
And the gear. And the gear. Well, Joe Rogan did the same thing on his podcast. He's like, I'm getting huge. And, he, and then he's like, it's all because of these supplements. And he's like, okay, yeah, I'm on this other shit, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of no one's looking, <laughs> wake, wake. Yes. I've got some uh, horns. <laughs> H-H. Horse pills. I'll tell you the only. Best way. Of course. Mario Lopez has... If TSP decides to come back now, what do you think Dana will do? Immediate title shot. Oof. I'd give it to him, but I'd I rather see him fight someone else. I think he would. Would he be too proud not to go for the title immediately? No, I think he's humble enough to not so? want that title shot right away. You feel like you have to earn it. Yeah, and you look at him too. Here's another guy. He's given so many fucking interviews now. Now that he's not fighting. And here's a guy who, oh, this, everybody asks me the same question. I don't know what I'm doing. Blah, blah, blah. My, he's playing like ball sack in this <laughs> Captain America movie or something. Ball sack. Okay. Or I don't know what the fucking <laughs> character's name is, but good for him. Yeah. Getting his acting sort of on. So I would like to see him not have a title fight to see. Nick Diaz. I'd be cool with that. To see if he would be the old GSP that doesn't just play it safe and go for the win. I want to see the reckless GSP that just goes balls to the wall, does the backflip after he wins kind of shit. Mm -hmm. Cited as a child. Yamil Reyes Sanchez, he just posted this uh, picture of Keanu Reeves. He says, what if GSP's break from the USC was all fixed by Jaina and GSP? To draw a lot of attention when he comes back to reclaim the throne. Possible? Doesn't make Plausible? sense. Plausible? No? You don't I believe it? I don't think that's true. I don't either. Donnie Wayne Ellis he asks, says, Yeah, I got a good one. Can I get a shirt? LOL. Meaning question. I'll He's have got to a think about question. it. If you do LOL again, then no. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> You're out. Sorry. John J. Bob. How many questions do I have to ask to get me a badass MMA Nuts a t-shirt? Wow, Are you guys begging tonight or what? <laughs> There's a lot of beggars shirts out. Are, hey, and whoever won the shirts, how come we don't have any photos of you wearing our shirts? What are you doing with this? They're probably using them as like jerk-off towels. <laughs> <laughs> While they watch you on this show. That's it goes my favorite. <laughs> no, dude, that's disgusting. I like to put my, some meat in his mouth. <laughs> I like, like meat in my mouth, be too. like Cyborg feeding you graves, but this <laughs> one feeding you meats. <laughs> Yeah, I, like think, I think we need to hook you up with a meeting with her because I no. want to see the look on your face when you're let down. You're just no. like, oh my god, <laughs> no. this is not no. what I pictured. No, she looks like a man. Just stop literally, it. Literally, it looks like a man. I know what she looks like. <laughs> I, I think even South Park had a, a thing like that where they, they, they had a picture of a girl and they photoshopped it. Then they're walking around with this picture going, oh my god, she's so hot. And then pretending. That was what this girl really looked like, and she's butt ugly, but everyone wanted to be with her. Yeah. <sighs> don't don't crush my dreams. I'm just saying. I'm, 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 a, I'm a happily uh, married I'm man. I'm going to make your dream come true of meeting her, and then I want to film the reaction. I think Stop I'm going to be so it. awesome. Stop <laughs> it. Like, oh, oh, yeah. Hi, you're, my name's Matt. You're on the edge of blasphemy right Please now. Please don't blow me. Edge of blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> so how many questions? It's not quantity. It's qualities. Quality. John J. Bob's second question. After his fight last night, what's next for Diego Sanchez? Do you think he should consider retiring? Oh. And did you see he said he <laughs> ate something? He I ate was going to say that. Or I don't know. Pate? Quail eggs. Dude, eat some normal fucking food before a fight, you dumbass. Who's eating quail eggs before this a fight? Is, this sounds like that Chris Lieben. Yes. I ate a bunch of jelly beans or something. Crazy, man. Did you not learn? Crazy, you, you need to, I think step one is he needs to go back to the nightmare. Ever since yeah. he became the dream with his yes, 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 it's not working out for him. I'm not sure he's sober, okay? From, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not sure he's, I'm, I'm thinking there are some substance abuse issues going there on. There could be. I don't know. That's him and Chris Lieben have a trajectory that's similar and they have a history that's similar and, you know, Diego has demons he deals with, so no disrespect. You can, but usually you can exercise those. <laughs> Ex exercise or exorcise? Yes. Yes. Both. John J. Bob, with two great fights this weekend, which fight was better? Curran versus Strauss or Hendricks versus Lawler? And then the next follow up is contender for fight of the year. 
Well, I didn't watch the first one. I did yet. What was your take on it? Uh, I was surprised because Curran pulled that shit out of his ass yeah. right at the end. But I still like the Hendrix Lawler fight. I yeah. think it was it was a lot more action the entire way. And, you know, I'm a bigger fan of the weight class that they were in. If you're not 155 or bigger, go the fuck home. How's that? Yes. Unless you're a woman. Then I can subscribe. Then it's the opposite. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We draw the line. I think we need a 205 thick, pounds. I think we need 155. 205 or less. 155 women's. Okay. Let's get after it, ladies. Okay. Let's get after That's it. Big man for a girl. <laughs> no, it's not. Only <laughs> oh, if you're Jesus. five two. Oh, that is big. Oh, Jesus. That's like uh, Sir Mix a lot. Yes. Only if you're five two. Yeah. 36, 24, 36. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ed Mark Cock, K O C K, it's pronounced Cock in my book. Could Robbie Lawler be the long lost identical twin brother of BJ Penn? I don't think so. Does he look like him? A little bit. Does he? Yeah. Bald. Okay. He's, bald head. He's bald and small head. <laughs> That's a typical recipe for success, no? Okay. Rhyme you, how would Diaz fare against Hendricks if he came back, and who should his first fight be if he did? I like Hendrix. I think he would do well. I actually like Diaz in that fight. Oh, Diaz I'm, versus Hendrix? No, I'm saying I like the matchup. Yeah. I but I'm, I like, as far as... The, I, I think, might take Diaz, too. I think the style of Diaz will actually beat Hendrix. Good. And let's see. Gustavo Rubiro. I fucked your last name. I'll deal with that. Who, in your opinion, has the biggest chance on each division... Here we go. I can't fucking, I need glasses, Jesus Christ. In, on each division, at least lightweight and heavier, to dethrone the current champions. Ugh. <laughs> um, Let's see. We'll start at heavyweight. Anybody that fights Cain Velasquez probably has a good chance to win because the heavyweight title holders don't defend but two times and then lose. And seeing how he's coming back off his shoulder surgery, uh, winner of Verdum versus Brown will beat Cain Velasquez. Okay. Uh, light heavyweight? John Jones. Uh, I, Gustafson, both I mean, Glover, guys. those guys are both tough. It, I think Jones will lose his belt this year. But you can't you can't talk to me. <laughs> Whatever I say about John Jones. <laughs> I'm just going to agree, and then when the fight comes, I'm going to pick John Jones <laughs> every time. You fucking pick against him so much. I do. I, so I can't funny. stand him. Uh, the 85 Weidman. Well, I thought Belfort would be the biggest test, but now you have a Belfort, no TRT, but you seem to think Machida, right, has a good shot? Mm-hmm. The style is, is interesting. I don't think, I don't think Weidman's going to be able to pull his shit against Machida. He's too elusive. And then uh, 70, we were just talking Nick Diaz, probably the best chance to yep. beat Hendricks. 55, uh, who's fighting? Pettis and Melendez sometime in 2015. I don't fucking know when <laughs> yeah, this I like that one, stupid that show is going to happen. But uh, that's a tough fight. I mean, that, yeah. that one seems a, a 50-50. So that is that. And a follow-up question. If you had to guess, how friendly would you say Ronda Rousey and Nick Diaz are? Well, I don't know. It's pretty interesting that they're spending all this time together. Yeah, I think he can come in the front door, but he can't come in the back door. Not yet, but soon. Yes. Justin, Dr. Bound Carter, what are some of the greatest one-liners in MMA history? <laughs> go ahead. You want to go for Well, I, I still love that Gus Johnson one. What's that? These things happen in MMA. Okay. Coming from a guy who's wearing uh, purple, <laughs> purple eyeshadow and... <laughs> Lipstick. Matching lipstick and yeah. tie and lapel or whatever that little fancy kerchief is. I like the shamrock, I'll beat you into a living death. Mm -hmm. Tito Ortiz. Uh, and then, of course, Jail Sonnen with the comment about the black belt, Cracker Jack box. For no Nogueras. Yeah. yeah. There's been some good ones. What else? I mean, shit. I think Mia Miller had some comments about some Brazilians, too. He was capping on. I'm talking about his MTV show and all this. Mm. Remember that like beef he had going on? Uh, I don't know. It's hard. One liners. Yeah. Goldberg has like one every fight card. <laughs> <laughs> so except Rogan just keeps squashing him. Yeah. It's I, I've noticed. Is it weird? Is it weird? And 
It's like whenever Goldberg talks, like Rogan can't help himself. He's got to like talk back, talk back, talk back. He's been very um, confrontational of yeah. late. Why? I think his juice levels are too high. <laughs> he's been Agro. like that on the podcast where he's been Agro. really. Yeah. Like, usually he's pretty mellow, but he seems. Uh, he's aggro. Maybe he's off the uh, smoke. Yeah, could be. Could it be the gluten free is making him aggro? Is that the increase in testosterone? Yeah. I was speaking of gluten free, I had gluten free burger over here at this tr- train station place, the burger joint. Oh yeah, you ever been there? The two mm-hmm. tots right in Lombard or uh, Glen Ellen. Sorry, mm-hmm. they have a gluten. The bun was good, and I was like, "Is this gluten free?" They're like, "Yeah, man." It was- <laughs> <You> sure <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, I guess it tastes fucking the good best. though. It's the best, and they have grass fed beef there. That's all they serve. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, really way to go. Good burgers. And then uh, the last question from Justin, Doctor Bound Carter. Would you let someone smack you in the face with a dick made of a million dollars? How would that happen? I don't know. It, it doesn't even have to be made of a million dollars. You could just slap me in the face with a dick. You could do that. But I'm, <laughs> I'm, wonder, I'm wondering, I'm trying to figure out how a million dollar dick gets made. So like, wait, because are you talking about like diamonds or something? That would fucking hurt. <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah, or it's, maybe it's just solid gold. Can the dick be big? That would be a huge dick. <laughs> I don't know. Gold is worth a lot. You're around about fourteen hundred an ounce. So is it a pound of dick? Is what sixteen ounces? That's not enough. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm just trying to get a, a baseline. You're for... getting in there with a fifty pound dick. That's not cool. <laughs> Solid gold, fifty pound dick, right in the head. I'm trying to do math on a fly. 16 just call one pound of gold about twenty five thousand dollars okay that's a so, lot that's a lot how of do you dick. get to a million <laughs> that's a lot of dick that's a hundred pounds 200 pounds that's like 400 pound dick <laughs> no you so can't it's me. like you can't hit me that with anything that weighs 400 pounds are you face? kidding me <laughs> why not don't be a bitch no dude you can handle that i don't even know come on no i don't know what that means that's a crazy question. <laughs> and then who has the most epic beard in MMA? Matt Griffith, <laughs> Luke Thomas, say. Travis Brown, or Johnny Hendricks? And he says, oh, and all hail Mark Hunt. Yes, all hail him. I think you and Johnny have a similar thing going on. It's similar. It's very similar. I gotta, but I'm not stopping. Fuck this. Yeah. Did he shave his off? He usually does after each of his fights. Yeah, I he doesn't he post a photo. It, shaves it. I think Travis Brown's pretty good. Really? Got something going on. I'll yep. work out. So who gets a t-shirt, sir? Thank you. I always forget that part. Can uh, we give away a bunch of t-shirts? We could. Do we want to give t-shirts to whiny cunts, though? No, because I don't want to make that a trend. Yes. Since I already had to take care of one of you. Yes. Just kidding. It's well-deserved. If you make us laugh. Uh, let's see. Who made me laugh? I like the today? last one. That was a good one. Justin, Dr. Brown Carter... T-shirt. Who else? Gustavo Rivero. Sure. T-shirt. The last question made me cry. Watch up. this one. John J. Bob. No T-shirt. <laughs> Michael, you could thank Michael Bisbing for that one. Keep trying. See the complainer. Yeah. Ask a real question. Come on. Yes, five. I appreciate it. You're getting there. I think you're about two shows away. Would be my guess. Okay. Or we could just be nice and send him one to us. Oh, whatever. I don't care. T-shirt! <laughs> I feel like I'm a rainmaker today. <laughs> bag of dicks. The last question, the dick one, that made me laugh. Yeah, that's Justin. Okay. He's got one. So, all three of you, look at that, three winners this week. Okay. Email us or direct message us on Facebook and... Send us pictures of your cock. No! <laughs> two cocks. <laughs> <laughs> Double it's cock. A two cock minimum here. That's right. If you have two cocks, send this picture. Yeah, of course. That's all, that's <laughs> what we need in our life. <laughs> fucking just dicks. And hopefully Why we'll uh, superimpose or Photoshop <laughs> us in cock in each hand. Right here's your opportunity. I love it. It's fucking perfect. <laughs> Go. <laughs> don't. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a funny story. Here you go. Okay. As I digress a Should little we bit. do the knowledge portion? Yeah, we'll go right into that. That knowledge? It, it can be brought to you by someone that, I'll, whatever, it doesn't have to be. But uh, I'm saying this is like pre computer days, 
back in the day. How old are you? <laughs> pre-internet. Oh my God, so he's like off. pre-internet <laughs> days, <laughs> pre-real Photoshop. 94. The year was. I would have been in college, so it would have been 92, 93-ish, somewhere around there. I don't know if we had access to a computer, but uh, working with these uh, people, it's like a bunch of college kids working at, I don't know, some company and working in their real estate files and classifying all these fucking documents. And this one kid I was working with, they had pitted up college students against kids that were in the law school working to become lawyers and whatnot. Okay. And they'd have one college kid and one of the these law students working together as you're going through all these uh, legal documents and trying to classify everything. And the kid I was matched up was a fucking douchebag and thought he was like, oh, better than everybody. So I'm like, okay. So somehow I'll just say I happen to get a picture of him and somehow I happen to cut out all these pictures of dicks and had him like getting fucking pumped in the ass and taking them in his mouth. And I happened to maybe make copies of <laughs> hundreds of those and put them in all the files that we happen to be classifying. And somehow, you know, later on, as people are going through all these, <laughs> all these pictures of this guy just getting fucking railed in all these legal <laughs> documents. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know who did that, but. Whatever uh, happened to that guy? He might come kill you now. Could be a I'm always ready, Ingo. <laughs> always ready. Could be a fan of the show. I'm just saying. Wait till he gets on the gear before you come and kill him. So he's ready. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. That was uh, pre the Photoshop, so you had to like cut it out oh, yeah. and like do all sorts of stuff. Wow. You're, oh, you're a ruthless man. Jesus. No, never. Brutal. You know? Knowledge? I have nothing. Oh, the other thing I want to mention too. I got mean mugged. I haven't been mean mugged in a while. Like really. Someone Diego Sanchez me the other Where? day. I was at the uh, Sam's Club getting some <laughs> no. gasolines. Okay. And they have the pump set up so you're only supposed to go in one direction right. to put the gas in. But I'm on the opposite side. So the driver's side has the where I'm going to put the gas in my truck. And the pump is on the right side. So initially I didn't get close enough. And you're trying to drag it across because I'm trying to play the rules the right way this time. Because typically I'll just back that fucker in to make it my way. I don't give a fuck about your rules. But a wife is in the car, so I'm trying to do it right. So I move it over, get it in there. And I drag this fucker all the way across, put it in there, and I'm waiting. And all of a sudden I hear, Whoosh! what the fuck is this liquid noise? I hear, like, oh, shit, the stopper didn't work on the gas pump. So <laughs> gas is just pouring out all over. As like, he just steps God. out smoking a cigarette. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on the cell phone. Well, like, God damn it, you know, fuck. So, you know, stop it. Because it, I wasn't, my reaction time wasn't, <laughs> like, right on. It took me a little time to recognize. Is someone pissing? Like, what is that? A weird watery sound, like a waterfall. <laughs> fucking all over my truck. I'm like, that can't be good for the paint. And it's all over the ground. I'm like, That's God funny. damn it. So I'm a little irritated. It cleans the car, don't worry. Yeah, it totally <laughs> did. So I, I put it back in, put it in, you know driving away and then I see the worker there the older and I don't know what ethnicity he was but he's just mean mugging me walks over there and like pours kitty litter or something all over the gas and he's just fucking completely mean mugging me like so I'm just staring at him and I can't do nothing but laugh <laughs> like look at how pissed off this guy is at me right now so I just you made I, him do extra work I laugh I smile I wave what am I supposed to do I don't know no, I thought it was funny. I'm the guy that should be pissed off because your fucking pump was defective and jacked the truck up. But yet this man is. Is upset there only one he... island where you can only one lane? Would you get into a different lane and have it be on the correct side of the car? If I felt like waiting. Oh, I see. Yeah, the okay. problem was that was the only pump that was open. Ah, I missed that part. Okay. So probably I, I don't have time to wait. Because I, I don't no have Sam's Club. I do the Costco thing. It's yeah. Closer to my house, but they have two lanes. Next time, I'm just going to do it my way. Back in? Back that fucker <laughs> in. I'm sure they love that. Well, technically, if you just go backwards out, then you're still following the path. Right. <laughs> the, the, the traffic. It's back. Well, I haven't been mean mugged in a while. That's funny. That was a good one, too. That's it. That has been this week's edition of MMA Nuts. My name is Ingo Weigold. Matt Griffith. We'll see you next time. Thanks for playing.